is a typical fall morning. I'm going to just be doing a video and bring you along as I get ready. So this will be a get ready video. I have to go out and run some errands and I also needed to go to the grocery store to pick up some essentials. So I'm gonna start out this morning by taking a shower, fixing some coffee, getting dressed, and then onto my errands for the day. So I decided to take you with me. Awful light in the bathroom. So let's get into the shower. Let's go get that coffee. I'm real excited this morning to have some coffee. The only thing about it is I have not been craving coffee lately. And I thought, it's it's been some days, guys. And I thought, wow, I really felt like I don't want to leave the coffee crave. I enjoy coffee. I enjoy coffee. And I really, really like it for the winter and fall season and different flavors so i'm gonna kick start this habit and drink me some coffee this morning <laughs> just kidding i need a little bit of pick me up because you know i'm on the bus and the errands i have to run are a, a couple of places i have to go and so i think that taking the bus and having energy is perfect so that's what i'm going to do I did buy these cups too to take to go, but we're gonna just drink this coffee here right now. Alrighty, let's do this. Yum. I wanted to do my makeup in here on camera, but it looked like the lighting is just not good, so I'm gonna take a sip of coffee and gather up the things I need and take it to um, some better lighting, basically. Ooh, it's hot. My everyday makeup has been consisting of whatever's in this bag here. Since I'm just running errands, I'm basically going to put on some foundation and some setting powder. Let's do that. I think I can do that here. I think lighting situation is not gonna change basically how this application is gonna work out. And I put some um, lotion on and some sunscreen on because I'm gonna be going outside. So I did do that. I'm going to just take this and this is Born This Way and I'm mahogany. And I'm gonna take this Equal Tools brush, pump some on it, and dab it on. And I don't care if it's not full coverage or how I wear it for work, because this is just a running of errands. And so this one pump, I'm gonna make it last. I'm gonna make it work. And whatever I cover, I cover. Whatever I don't cover, I don't cover. So. That's the rule for putting on makeup when I really am not going to work. But I like that it didn't go absorb inside this um, Equal Tools brush. And it's a nice big buffing brush. So this is this is it, but I still thought I'd bring you along with the getting ready part. And then when I get home, I will do a video showing what essentials I picked up. I'm calling it essentials because they are things that I feel like I definitely need. And if I don't get them, I'm not going to be able to wash dishes. And I need some stuff for my hair. Uh the journey for my hair and its issues is so so real it's too real it's annoying but nevertheless 
I'm glad that I'm not feeling as frustrated as I was in the beginning. I pretty much am at the point where I accept that my thyroid has caused this dilemma. And the only reason why I'm saying, in fact, it's my thyroid is because I remember um, two or three, this would be the third or the fourth time my hair wigged out on me. And each of those times I was in high stress situations. The first time it happened, I just moved from California, moved to California from New England. And I had little kids raising them alone in a completely new area, no family around still, even though I moved back to California to be near my family, I wasn't still that near. And then the second time that I remember my hair wigging out on me is when I first started dating my husband who is a narcissist that I did not know at the time, but obviously something about that relationship caused me major stress and my hair did a serious trick act. So this time I went through something again, you know, when I left the narcissist. So my body just um, wreaks havoc on my thyroid and your thyroid controls so many parts of your body function till it's unbelievable and so it left me to the point where I was losing weight gaining weight you know suffering from being insomnia and suffering from a um, little bit of anxiety you feel like nervous for no reason you don't know that you you just are nervous feeling and, it's, and for me it was mimicking how I feel like sometime when you know, my intuition will let me know something is wrong with me, my kids, or a family member, and I would have a certain feeling. So it was happening like that, and it made me real nervous because I hate it when in the past that would happen. Something surely would go wrong with me, my family, or my loved ones. So that was getting to me a little bit, and um, I recognize this. My thyroid now, not so much something's going to go wrong. This is my blush that I use from Sleek that I use just to set the crease. I don't really put much on this, basically completely so the crease don't, um, you know, it won't crease up on me. <laughs> um, I do have a eyeshadow primer, but you know, I don't do all of that because this is just the, a quick get ready with me. I still see powder hanging out on me. And then I always just put some mascara on, so I'm never going to leave the house without mascara. Well, I have lately been leaving with mascara. Once upon a time, I would never leave without mascara and foundation. So I still basically won't leave without foundation, but I will leave without mascara sometime. And there was a time, even before this, where I would never leave the house without brushing my eyebrows. And I had numerous... Um, brow brushes because it was so important to me to keep my brushes groomed and now I'm lacking and I sort of just brush them up when I first get ready and call it a day and if you notice I didn't really put mascara on my bottom lashes I do when I'm going to church but I put waterproof mascara on my bottom lashes and that's for the sole purpose of if I cry in church I won't ruin my mascara so this is all I'm doing yeah this is pretty much all I'm doing today I'm probably gonna put on a white t-shirt and some jeans just keep it simple I always have a couple of pair of earrings hanging out all throughout the house I have these right now that we're just here in the bathroom there are some hearts they look tarnished but they're they're not so let's get on to the final getting ready I have on this little white t-shirt that I got two of them from Walmart for a dollar each and uh, probably should have got more because I do enjoy white teeth and then I have these um, what do you call it exercising pants yoga pants that I got for two dollars I think and so I'm going to put these on instead of some jeans for today and that would be my outfit. I'll stand back. So, I don't know if you can see, but I have on the yoga pants. 
gonna do my hair and I had put some product on it to wet it before um, I got in the shower which is um, some of this just argon cream and shine it's a foamy mousse and I put this on just to wet my hair and tie it down and then now I'm going to address these grays so I'm using this which is one of my what do you call it holy grails and then this is what it looks like so lately I have been just putting it on the back of my hand like that and then rubbing some together and just going like this instead of taking my fingers and uh, placing it on and I thought this is a little halfway effective I would say sometimes it just looks like it's on but then when I get in real light I didn't have that much coverage but this is how I do been doing it lately because this is the quick fast and in the hurry way but I do use my finger like I'm doing right now half the time so depends on how in a hurry I am and I started not to worry about the gray hairs here because when you're in a hurry, you start cutting corners, and then when you cut corners, you start getting okay with it, and people start seeing you looking a certain way, and then you just get more comfortable and be like, yeah, you know what? I don't care. And um, the perfume I've been using every day, every day, is the Love Pink. I think that I'm gonna give it to my granddaughter to finish off, and I'm gonna switch out for the fall to another scent but this smells um very girly and it has this top but don't bother putting it on because i use it every day thank you for getting ready with me and i'm going to leave the house and begin searching for my body and home essentials thank you for watching